city burns down. Around 8 p.m. on the night of October 8, 1871, Patrick and Catherine O'Leary of 13 DeCoven Street, Chicago, went to bed. Soon after, a fire broke out in their barn. One of the O'Leary's neighbors was walking by when he saw flames coming from the barn. He shouted for help and neighbors rushed to the fire with buckets of water. They were unable to put out the fire, and it quickly spread to other homes. Soon the whole neighborhood was in flames. Most of the homes and buildings in Chicago were wooden at the time, and with the help of the wind the fire quickly grew. Unfortunately firefighters went to the wrong location, and by the time they reached the fire it was out of control. People began to panic. They were running in the streets, while buildings were burning down around them. When the fire reached the Chicago River, people thought it was finally over. But, with the help of the wind, sparks jumped over the river and buildings on the other side caught fire. The fire then headed for the city center. Government buildings, hotels and businesses burnt to the ground. After two days, rain began to fall. And on the morning of October 10, 1871, the fire finally died out. One of the biggest American disasters of the 19th century left 300 people dead. 100,000 people homeless, and 17,500 buildings destroyed. The people of Chicago immediately began to rebuild their city from this disaster. It started with a small fire in the O'Leary's barn.